How's it going, Sucks? A few lines. My name is MCIK or CJ, and welcome everybody back to another Warframe video. Welcome back, guys. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today, we are going to be taking a look on another thing that came out in update 18.11.0. And these are the four new augment mods that I'm very excited to showcase and uh, show you guys how they work and tell you guys about what I think about the new augment mods if they're worth it for an inventory for you know a mod slot if they're worth the time to build make a build around the mod and I'll let you guys know if they're worth it or not or, or decent or really good and I'll get into all of that in just a second but anyway guys if you guys do enjoy feel free to leave a like down below that'd be amazing and without further ado let's get into this so the four mods of course we're gonna be taking a look at today are fatal teleport resonating quake everlasting ward and last but not least, Phoenix Renwall. So, uh, oh, what, what, what's that? What? what? <laughs> it's pronounced renewal. Fuck you. All right, guys. So to kick this off, we're gonna start off with Chroma, good old Chroma boy, and we're gonna take a look at his everlasting ward. This is probably one of the coolest ones out of the four that came out the one of the most uh it kind of got my attention the most the this is one of my biggest problems with chroma is that when you're around someone that's using chroma and you know they don't have a really wide range build you sort of don't get the effects 100 percent of the time of of elemental ward but with this it basically says if you are affected once by it you'll have the remaining duration of it so if whoever's using Chroma has a long duration time, all you gotta do is get affected by it once, which means kind of like get in the area, the, the vicinity of of Chroma when he's using this, and you'll have the everlasting ward. You'll have the <laughs> elemental ward, of course, for the, the remainder of the duration, however long he makes his duration, basically. It's a really good ability. I would showcase it. I would showcase it right now in the simulation room. But there's really no allies. But yeah, it's, it's it's a good build. It's a very good mod, and I definitely recommend putting it into your builds because it's very good for supportive frames. Let's say this this is course this is an ice build, so this is gonna be for armor. So it's gonna basically help your allies to be more tanky, and that's gonna be good for also health builds too. If you want to run a, let's say you go over here and you want to instead put on, of course it's all changed by the color. The color affects everything. You have a red. You're gonna be fire basically so if you activate elemental ward now it's gonna do the same thing only it's gonna heal you and your teammates and I think it gives extra health and that's what it is uh, but nonetheless good augment so the next one down the list is resonating quake resonating quake is either I'm still trying to get the hang of it or it isn't that good of an augment uh, it might people are saying oh man call it's the best one out of the three or the four however many banshee augments there are um, Resonating quake basically it increases damage by a hundred uh, Increases damage by a hundred range by one meter and energy cost by one so If anything, it's just gonna charge a lot more energy to cast this ability and most of the time people are running CC builds on this crowd control but it isn't a terrible mod, actually. It's a very decent mod, and I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Basically, it stacks over time, the multiplier, and it goes, I believe, to 20. 20 multiplier. So I'm gonna show you guys this with Infested, because uh, this kinda got my attention a little bit. So we're gonna spawn in 20 chargers, and they're all gonna be uh, level 115. That's as high as I can go, because I'm a kind of a low master rank, so sorry. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna spawn in 15 of those. We're gonna grab all the max energy we can get, and we're going to go into the middle with all of our beautiful chargers. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. And we're going to try to die. There we go. Okay, so we're activating it. If you can see at the top of my corner, it's going from 5, 6, 7, 8. That is the multiplier. And as you can see, the higher the multiplier is, the faster it's going to kill him. Just like so. They're all gone. Level 115 enemies, they're they're all dead. Um, if you want to build for a strength build, then I would totally say go for it. It kind of gives it it gives her, it gives Banshee a new edge. It gives her a new way to build. Because most of the time she's built for crowd control and sonar, of course. 
because that's one of the most important abilities of hers. But this isn't a terrible way to build. It's uh, It could be useful. The only problem that I have with this ability is that it drains your energy way too fast. Uh, and you guys can see right here. Look at this. Look at that energy drain, dude. But yeah, the longer you hold on, the longer that you keep that ability activated, the longer the multiplier builds up. So basically, you can kill things with higher levels and more armor faster. So it's all about, you know, damage over time. So that's how that works. Next off down the list, we have Phoenix Renewal. This one, it's a little bit of a, it, this one kind of took me a little while to get the hang of. I didn't really know and understand how it worked um, with Renewal. And it's a little funky how it works. Basically, while taking the effects of Renewal, <laughs> will instead heal you up to 50% of health. Uh, this effect triggers only once each for ally every every 90 seconds. The one thing, basically, the, the the last part of that means it has a 90 second cooldown, a whole minute of cooldown, basically almost. But the good side of this is it charges, it heals you 50% of health, and that's also affected by power strength. So the more strength you have, it could it could heal you all the way. This could, this could potentially be a, a very slow blessing, kind of like Trinity's blessing. This is a very slow Trinity blessing with a cooldown timer which kind of sucks that's why I don't understand that's if you're gonna do that you might as well just run Trinity but not gonna hate not gonna hate people people might be like hey Cole I like that I don't don't you be hating on that so it's okay so we're gonna spawn in a level I'm gonna show you guys how this works we're gonna spawn in a level 50 arid heavy gunner just because of the first thing I saw we're gonna take a lot of damage and basically you're gonna see at the top of my screen it's gonna be a red thing that says Phoenix renewal and that's going to basically be my timer until I can activate the ability again. Basically the cooldown timer. And yeah, it's best to use this while you're taking tons of damage. So when you're in the middle of fire and uh, you need to be restored half health. Or more than that actually. This is a great time to activate the ability. Um, and also it seems to be that there is a bit of a time where you're invulnerable to damage. So I'll show you that in a second. Here we go. Hello. Hello. There it is, Phoenix Renewal. So it healed, it healed me all the way max, all the way up, max health. But as you can see now, there is a timer. It still has 77 seconds left, so you cannot. You can activate. Sorry, you can activate Renewal again, but it won't. You won't be able to have that effect of Phoenix Renewal until the 60 seconds, or in this case, the 90 seconds are up. So it's good and bad at the same time. Not terrible, but 90 seconds is kind of long, quite a long time for have to have this mod even useful at all. But it's not bad if you're in a, if you're in a pinch and you really need to max out your health, it could be good. But in the end, you might as well just bring Trinity, honestly. <sighs> oh boy, felines! I saved the best for last. You guys know how it is. I love doing that. Oh man. So next off, we're going to be talking about the last one out of the four, and that is Fatal Teleport. It's like just saying that makes it's like it's like tasting velvet. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so fatal teleport is for Ash, uh, the teleport augment. Uh, teleport will instantly perform a finisher on the target, dealing 200% extra damage, and 50% of the energy cost is refunded on a kill. So <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Just watch this, guys. Okay, I am going to spawn in. Corrupted Bombards. I'm going to spawn in six Corrupted Bombards, and they're going to be max level as high as I can get it. This does so much damage, and I wish I could test it even higher, because I'm sure they could kill level 200s and 300s one-hit kills, because these are finishers. With the 200% extra damage, it's like, mmm. Ah, it's Velvet. Okay. Mm, maybe, maybe those are too many. I think we might have to spawn in. Let's just try four for now. Okay, so we're going to spawn in four Corrupted Bombards. You ready for this, guys? Level 115. That means they can one-hit you if they hit you. But that ain't going to happen. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> This is probably the best augment that I've used probably forever. I don't really use a lot of augments. 
but this is definitely my favorite one. It does so, so much damage. And of course, a big majority of the damage is from the war, I'm not gonna lie. But 200% more damage on finishers. Finishers deal so much damage. They, they updated the, the finishers, how much damage they dealt uh, in an update recently, or sometime. It was a little while ago, but they they made it so finishers deal so much more damage. With Now with the 200% damage from that, and look at the war build that I have. This is the war build that I have. Just, I, ma I max it out for pure damage. It's, it's beautiful because you know of course a attack speed isn't going to be really useful when you're just finishing and I think less attack speed is better because you'll have more time to figure out you know where is who is where and when wall all that stuff I don't know people could say it'd be better to have more attack speed to get done with finishers quicker I see it the other way around but that's just up to me and up to you guys what you guys like to do but I just max it out for tons of damage just elemental mods pure damage mods I keep I could probably even put heavy cal heavy whatever uh, Point strike, or something. Uh, ah, God, I'm gonna get butchered if I don't know the exact name. Uh, something uh, corrupted, of course. It's a corrupted one. Actually, I could put it on. Yes, yeah, spoiled strike. I could put that on instead of that. No, I don't have enough room. And I don't want to take the critty mods off, but you know, I could I could trade up for that. I put four on it. But basically, the point is, this mod is an amazing mod. They're all really good. Some of them have their downfalls, and some of them have their perfections, like this one. <laughs> um. But yeah, they're all really good mods. All right, well, the one last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn in, <laughs> I'm gonna spawn in Gorth. Gorth is from the uh, last operation we did. He's probably the tankiest thing here that I can go against. I'm gonna see if I can one hit him. Finish him. Oh yes! Did you see the crits, dude? I'm gonna slow motion that shit. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, it's beautiful. Ooh. Fatality. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay, guys, that's gonna about do it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Definitely go guys, get get your uh, augments. And uh, I made a video on the update 18.11 that showed you guys all where to get the augments from. And I might even put in the description where to get the augments in what syndicates. But uh, yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe to, to join the Feline Pack if you guys are new to the channel. And leave a comment for another Warframe video to do, and I'll see what I can do. Have an awesome day, stay sexy, and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Peace out!